Linux kernel modules enable you to dynamically extend the functionality of the kernel. So for example, you want to add some kind of driver or maybe a file system, or maybe you just want to do some low level stuff in the kernel. So you can do that using kernel modules. Let's make a little demonstration with a simple kernel module, which will print something into the log. So let's, for example, open up a C file and like, let's call it cats, for example. So I'm going to start by including two files. After that, I'm going to define two functions. First one is going to be the initialization. This is going to be called when the module is going to be loaded. I'm going to make a simple print with print K. It's going to go to the kernel log. The log level is going to be kern info. You have all kinds of log levels. And I'm going to return zero, which means everything was successful. Second function is going to be cleanup. This is going to be called when the module is going to be unloaded. Now let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to make a small make file. All I'm going to do is define the object file. What this basically says is that the object file that will be produced from the C code is going to turn into a kernel module. Now let's go ahead and build this. So I'm going to use make with minus C. I'm going to pass in the kernel source. I'm also going to pass m equals pwd. And this basically says that the current directory is an external module. As you can see now, our kernel module is ready. The kernel module is cats.ko. Now I can just go ahead and load it with insmod cats.ko. Now if you take a look at the kernel log with dmessage command, you can see that the cats module is loaded. Subscribe for more programming videos. Thanks for watching.